Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Leanne and this is Baby Bell. On this channel we talk about all things mum and baby and toddler related and today I'm going to show you like our typical weekly grocery shop. So I talked about how we're trying to save money on our groceries and how much we spend etc in a money saving video that I did recently and I had a couple of people message me and say like how do you spend that much. Now I know that there still is, there still are ways that we can reduce what we're spending, we can spend less but I'm going to show you what we've got here for just like a typical week and also what meals we're making out of it so meal plan will come up sort of after we've gone through every everything here okay so this was a Sainsbury's delivery now annoyingly they don't give you a receipt like a, a listed receipt with it anymore so I know some of this is on offer and what I'll do is I'll put the information on the screen because I'm gonna have to go back into my order to have a look and see exactly what's on offer but some of this branded stuff is on offer now so let's go through so we we'll start up at this end so we've got no beef meatballs here and we've also got meat meatballs there we've got some corn pies and also veggie burgers this is vegetarian kebab and I know this is one of the things that was on order that on offer that's why I've got that and then we've got some corn on the cobs and as I said I'll show you what we're doing with all of this in the meal plan afterwards so that it kind of makes a little bit more sense For some reason I managed to order two different types of shredded wheats that wasn't intentional I don't know why I've done that okay then then we've just got some fusely there got fox's party rings so Little tiny mini packets of those. Baby Bell and I will share those. Some onion rings. And then here we've got dates. So John has these for his breakfast. Ooh. Tiny ketchup. This is one of the things that we're not willing to swap out to a supermarket own brand just because they tend to taste like vinegar. I have tried it before. Again with this, this is a branded one. We have tried to swap out to less expensive ones, but John doesn't get on with them at all. We've got Freddo's, just as a little snack. We've also got, so we always used to use Cravendale and because I'm, none of us drink milk, like just as milk. Baby Bell is still breastfed. I don't drink it just as milk and I don't particularly like it. So I prefer this really filtered stuff and this works out a lot cheaper than Cravendale. Are you chucking all the shopping on the floor, Baby Bell? So then we've got jalapenos, John uses these in like practically everything. So um, just Sainsbury's pasta sauce. Now I am looking to actually make my own pasta sauce. Now that we've got Baby Bell's toddler tower, she tend, I can do a bit more cooking. So I am looking to start making my own. What's the matter? <laughs> Snack bars for me, which I'll also share with Baby Bell. Snack bars for Baby Bell. We've got tuna, both John and Baby Bell love tuna and some mustard because we've got burgers for dinner. These are burger rolls. Now this bread is just a really cheap Sainsbury's bread and it's actually pretty amazing. Like It lasts for an entire week, it's really soft, you can still make a sandwich out of it a week after you've bought it so I'm really impressed with that. And then we've got back here drinks, so Pepsi Max, those are mine, summer fruits, squash. We'll drink those. Baby girl doesn't have squash or fizzy, she just has water or breast milk. So that's those. Mm -hmm. And then we've got, so fruit and veg. So what we tend to do is we'll make up a really big bowl of salad at the beginning of the week and then we can use it for like two or three days and we'll have it in lunches and dinners and everything. But we've got bananas so because baby bell's only 18 months she doesn't have like a full portion of fruit so we tend to share our fruit so we've got bananas we've got some peppers we've got a sweet pointed pepper so these three peppers here one will be in the salad one will be in the pasta i think and then one will be something else i honestly can't remember it's all on the it is all on the meal plan then we've got baked potatoes we have baked potatoes as dinner for one week and then baby potatoes for another dinner 
these are meant to be sugar snap peas that we have raw as snacks, but they've sent us mange too. I don't know how that's gonna go. Might be disgusting, but we'll give them a go. And we've got grapes. Eat those as snacks. A couple of tomatoes, a couple of onions, some satsumas, cucumber, obviously for the salad. Then we've got some lettuce, which is a substitute. This was meant to be an iceberg because you obviously get more in an iceberg for less money, but they apparently didn't have any. Then we've got potato carrot sweet mash. So John has that on one of the nights. And then we've got Baby Bell has menaced it all, it was in order, but so. Jessie has biscuits and wet dog food. She didn't need any wet dog food this week, but she did need some biscuits, so there's those. Dishwasher tablets, I tend to just buy whatever's on offer. We did try swapping those out for the Sainsbury's one, but they weren't as good. Oh, I know. Okay. Maybe finished. So, come into the fridge section, or it should be the fridge section. So we've got oat milk, which John uses. Some yogurt that we're gonna have for breakfast vegetarian sausages for me. Baby Bell will have a mixture of vegetarian and non-vegetarian stuff. Then we've got ham for John's lunch. Now I haven't really included John's lunches in the meal plan because his are slightly different. Baby Bell was with me for most of the day so she mostly has what I have but John will have like ham and cheese sandwiches or tuna sandwiches. Thank you. This is obviously Sainsbury's version of Lure Pack because Lair pack was getting up to like £4.20 a box and this one is about £2.60 so it's, it's pretty fine, it does the job. And then, what have we got here? We've got cheese. I get through a lot of cheese, so that's that. Then burgers for John to go with my veggie burgers and obviously Baby Bell will have some of that. Chicken. sausages so he'll have like a couple of these with dinner and then take the rest of them to work the next day and the same with this as well so he'll have him and baby girl will have some of that for dinner and then he'll take the rest of it to work the next day I think it says it said three but only if one of them is this size you, you really don't want raw chicken baby girl let's put that over there and then we get all our like household cleaning stuff and toiletries in with our weekly shopping it looks like the toiletries this week are mainly baby bells so let's not play with the paracetamol thank you so paracetamol just to keep in the cupboard and then we've got a couple of packs of Sainsbury's wipes so they're not the best wipes in the world but they are quite a lot cheaper than sort of like huggies and pampers and stuff so we buy the Sainsbury's ones and then we've got nappies, so baby bells in size six nappies. And we've always used Sainsbury's ones because they're the best ones out of all of them. We've tried loads. We tried all of them at the beginning and they are definitely the best ones. Then we've got toothpaste. Look, toothpaste for baby bell. Some baby bath. Some dry shampoo for me and then just some kitchen roll which is huge I wasn't expecting it to be that big but that's like an Aldi price match I think that one so again I'll pop how much that is on the screen so all of this came to a hundred pounds now like I said I know that there are ways that we can reduce how much we spend but I'll now show you what we're doing with this for the week okay so this is the food planner so first of all printers stop working or one of the colours has run out. It's meant to look like this. Instead it looks like this. And then secondly, Baby Bell has also decided that she doesn't like it. So it says there's a Bell's food planner on there, but this is basically mine and hers. So for breakfast, yeah. <laughs> for breakfast, we're not particularly adventurous. So we've got yogurts and grapes, yogurt and pineapple. Pineapple wasn't on the shopping list because that's in the cupboard. Porridge and sultanas, 
Shredded wheat and banana. Porridge and sultanas again. They're in the cupboard. Shredded wheat and sultanas and then porridge and berries. The berries are frozen berries that are in the freezer and I have to remember to get them out the night before otherwise like frozen berries in porridge. So that's that. Lunch is sort of based around what we're having for dinner. I try and do it that way. So I'll start with dinner and then work backwards on the lunch and then the breakfast and the snacks as well. Try and include like at least five of our five a day. But we've got a cheese and onion sandwich. Baby Bob loves onion, red onion. Tuesday is pasta with pestos and peppers and cheese. Wednesday is leftovers from Tuesday's dinner. So sausage sandwich and a corn on the cob. Thursday we've got cheese and tomato on toast. Friday, peanut butter and banana and toast. Sounds weird, it's actually quite nice. Pasta is leftovers from Friday night. And Sunday I've got toast with any topping on, so it depends on whether we fancy cheese on toast or jam or peanut butter. We've got both of those in the cupboard in the fridge, the peanut butter and the jam, so we can have that. And then dinner. So none of these dinners require a huge amount of cooking. It's something that I'm trying to get back into, like cooking from scratch. But even though we've got Baby Bell's toddler tower and she does like stay in there quite quietly, for a while she wouldn't stay in there for the length of time that i'd need to cook something from scratch it's not so bad in the winter because we can use the slow cooker but we eat dinner at around six o'clock we can't do it any late any later than that because obviously she needs to go to bed she goes to bed about 7 15. hello but john doesn't finish work he doesn't get home from work until just before six so i have to i'm trying to cook dinner ready for when he gets back and she's there so none of this is particularly well cooked that took me forever to explain that i'm really sorry about that most of this is balanced so try and do like you know all of the food groups and get some fruit and veg and everything so we make up a big bowl of salad on a sunday and that gets us through like sunday monday tuesday sometimes even wednesday it lasts us so we've got monday we've got john has chicken i'll have the kebab stuff that i showed you and chips and salad oven chips they're in the freezer i didn't need to buy any this week so obviously the stuff that we buy it often comes in like packs of two or four so we don't have to buy the same thing every week i also don't change this meal plan very often we'll do this for a couple of weeks and then we'll switch it up there's enough variety with the dinner and everything there that we don't get bored with it for like two or three weeks tuesday sausage and sweden carrot mash wednesday i do like a it's not really a roast dinner but john has a roast chicken careful on the tripod careful which he'll share with Baby Bell. I have one of those pies, sort of kind of roast the potatoes, but kind of bake them. Broccoli and carrots, they're frozen. They're in the freezer. I didn't need to buy those this week. Thursday, we've got eggs, beans and waffles. So the beans and the eggs we've got from last week. I didn't need to buy any more of those. Friday, pasta, meatballs, sauce and broccoli. So we've got the meat meatballs and the meat free ones as well. Saturday, we've got burgers in buns with cheese and salad. It doesn't sound like much, but they end up like they're huge. I think they were like either half pounders or quarter pounders that we've got. And then Sunday, baked potato, salad and cheese. And then the snacks. The snacks were all just sort of like three or four different types of snacks that we just I'll share with Baby Bell basically. Yeah. So we've got snack bars, sugar snack peas or monge two this re week. Mini party rings and then just various different fruits, satsumas, there's a few yeah. crisps in there. We try not to give either of us crisps every day because not the, the healthiest snacks. So we are trying to be healthy and teach Baby Bell about eating a good variety of food. Yeah, so as I said, I know there's loads more things that we can be doing to try and reduce how much we spend on our shopping. But as I also said, trying to cook on my own with a toddler is kind of challenging, like cooking from scratch, because I, I don't even have the luxury of trying to prep it while she's napping, because quite often she doesn't want to nap on, a, nap on her own still. So if you've got any tips on making healthy foods from scratch with a toddler, please let me know down in the comments because I need them basically. As usual, we really hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, don't forget to leave us a like and a comment and hit that subscribe button. It makes us really happy and it lets YouTube know videos worth showing to other people. We'll see you next time. Say bye! <laughs>